Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Golfing the Villages. On today's program we're heading back up north, but this time to the original 18 hole championship course known as Orange Blossom Hills Golf and Country Club. The nines are aptly named Citrus Hill and Citrus Grove. Today we are playing Citrus Grove. I noticed right away that the green complexes were very small. With some quick back of the scorecard math, I calculated the greens average 30 yards front to back. The good news was that my playing partners for this round, Tom and Jeff, wanted to play from the white tees, so I joined them, and it played as 2,508 yards according to the scorecard. Citrus Grove sports a USGA course rating of 31.8 and a slope of 108 for the statisticians following along at home. The final member of our quartet is Bill, and he wanted to play up a box from the green tees. This means we have a little extra footage between tee to green. Thank you again to all out there for subscribing and watching our channel. Our current goal of 500 subscribers is firmly in our sights, and with your help we can get there. So without further ado, let's get after it. All right, standing on this first tee, we've got a par five. It is 402 yards from the white tees. This is a dog leg to the left. I've got the driver in my hand. I'm looking to hit a draw. And there is a little bit of a snap hook again. A little low left, but over the trap and in play. All right, we're back here in the left rough, as you can see here. This is 168 to the pin. Now this green is only 26 yards deep. It's very narrow, very thin. I've got a seven iron. Oh, wow, pulled it, hooked it, left. Please stay in bounds. It does, but it's gonna be a real difficult next it's shot. So we pick up the action here in the hay. It's up to my shoe tops. It's deep. It's on the down slope. I, mean, I just don't have the skill to get that in out. The hay, on the, on the down green. slope. So now I've got this. My fourth. Trying to get it on. Okay, not bad. We can maybe make a putt and save par. No. All right, better roll. We got a new grip with the flat stick. So bogey six. Okay, so this is the second hole. It is playing 308 from the white. You probably could take driver, bang it over the trees, and get it down there. I'm playing a little conservative here. This is a five iron. Start on the right edge of the tree, draw it back toward the fairway, a little left, good strike, should be fine. So we hit a fairway, which is nice. Uh, left is a little longer. We're conservative here. It's 200 yards. I've got the five iron again. Just looking to hit a little draw right to left. Um, the green is only 26 yards deep as well. So this is a good strike. It's just pushed, never drew, never turned over. So it's on the right side. So somehow the ball carried a little further. I'm a little beyond the green and the fluffy stuff, and there you go. I just couldn't get that Easter egg out. Now I am just, I'm steamed at this point, and embarrassed, upset. Oh, and 
right over can't there. save it. Double yeah. bogey. All right, so we shake that off and we're on the third hole here. This is a par three, playing 127 on the card. I've got it at 143, it's in the back. I have a nine iron here that I'm gonna saw off. Let's see, I got the abbreviated finish. The hole, it is all five, over huh? the flag, right at it. Oh, is that long? Hits long, can't tell, but it oh is on the Oh my gosh, green. I think that went long. So you can see it pretty much hopped and sat right where it's at. So we've got this bid for birdie with the new putting grip. Roll on its way, looking good into the cup and down. That's a birdie for the big man. With a little shot of confidence and a giddy up in my step, we're on the fourth tee here, 281 on the card. I've got a five iron. I'm gonna put it out to the left. I don't know if you can see that 150 pull. Oh, but this is a super strike all over. It doesn't turn, but it's gonna hit the fairway and be good. Straight, straight. All right, so by avoiding that right side, there's all kinds of trash over there and rough. By staying left here, we have a really easy 103 yard shot. I've got a gap wedge in my hand. Honestly, I'm trying to get this close. I think I'm aligned a little to the right because I hit it straight and I'm just gonna miss the green on the right. All right, and here we pick up the action. You see him just off the green. This is the 62 degree lob wedge that I have. I'm trying to return the face. It just, it, it's a little high for my liking. It doesn't get the roll out, so we've got this now. Try to save par, oh, oh just yes. missed it. Should be an easy bogey, yep. All right, so this is the fifth hole. It is playing 321 on the card. Normally, I mean, I, I could hit driver. I, I felt like it was a little tighter, and I just wanted to get a three-wood in play, give myself a good chance. And oh, I just boy. hit this terrible strike, and sometimes you just <laughs> have to laugh. Everyone in the group actually outdrove me. So as the short knocker on this hole, I had 198 in, and I'm wearing out this 5-iron. Good strike at the flag. Going to come up a little short and miss the green, but it's safe. All right, this ball's sitting really nice. There's not a lot of green to work with. I have the 56 degree in my hand. I do need to fly this most of the way to the hole. So that's what I do. It's a little right of, takes a little kick toward the hole. And this to make par. Yep, look like a par all the way. All right, so here we are in the sixth tee. This is a par five. It is playing 390, which seems short. I think it's slightly up the hill, to be honest with you. Uh, you'll notice that. But anyway, I've got the driver out, looking to get it long and straight, or low and left. You know, the normal miss. Oh, no. it's, it's up there.
All right, and I did forget to mention that this is my first time playing this course. I've got 257 now in, so I didn't hit that very far, I guess. Uh, I've got a 7 iron in my hand. I'm just looking to lay up. I didn't think I could get it all the way to the back with the tree, and it's kind of what I do when I'm unsure. So I'm just basically advancing the 7 iron down there, get it in the middle of the fairway. All right. So this one ends up being 51 yards. I got the 62 degree. It's not really my favorite distance, to be honest. I'd rather have like 75, a little fuller. But anyway, I hit this. Hits on the green a little long. You can see I didn't really hit a great wedge. It did roll out. There's a big ridge here that I'm trying to carry with the putt. And I just give it way too much pace. I've got too much meat on the bone. Trying to make one here to save par. And oh, oh wow. yes, hey, in the hole. That? I think it was Bill Walton that said, throw it down, big man. <laughs> All right, so over to the seventh tee, playing 304 from the white. Um, got that five iron again, and I'm looking to hit it just inside the uh, the left of the cart path toward those uh, bushes there. And that's pretty much where this ball goes. Stays straight out there. Doesn't draw back, but it's in play. So now over to the approach shot. We're looking at 135 yards to the pin. Pin is actually on the right. This is more of a cutter pin. Since I'm a drawer, I'm still going to take it over the flag and try to draw it back in. And this is pitching wedge. Real good strike. Starts right, stays right. A little bit of a block. Just about hole high right. So here we take our little 62 degree lob wedge. And again, not a lot of green to work with. We're just gonna throw it up. Try to get it close. Good hop, bad kick, doesn't go in, but take this little tap in for a All right, that was a short cart ride over to number eight, uh, 118. On the card, I had it playing at 101. I've got a little gap wedge. I was kind of torn between gap wedge and sand wedge. I wanted this one to go a little higher and get it to sit soft. I throw it up in the air. It's just to the left of the flag, but it's on the green. All right, so we found the dance floor and I'm licking my chops. This one's a big left to righter, but I want to get it there. No, didn't get it there. And this for par in the hole. All right, this is gonna be a fun hole. Number nine, it's playing 257, and the marker actually said 257. So I've got the three wood out here. There is a chance I could drive this green. Now it is up the hill, but I'm gonna give it a try. I hit this out to the right, real high, straight, but it's looking good on the fairway.
this was 28 yards to the flag. Um, pretty simple shot, but you know when you get so close, this is 62 degree lob wedge. Sometimes oh, oh, bad it. things oh, happen, no. and I just thinned it. Now we're in trouble. All right, so I realized you really couldn't see the flag on the last because uh, my tuchus was in the way. But uh, this is all going downhill away from me. It's on that lower portion. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding me? What a time to have your short game just fall apart. So this hits on the slope. I feel like it's going to keep going, but somehow it hangs up to here. Now, this is a really delicate putt. And so what do I do? Like hands of stone. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's got so much go base. Ahead. Just watch it go by with your hopes and dreams. Oh, this is going to be six shots from 28 yards. Wow. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. If you have a shred of sympathy for me, please smash that like and subscribe button. I need all the positivity I can get after you bearing witness to a total blow up from just 28 yards. However, in all seriousness, there is something to be said for having a tidy short game, which is really the best way to save strokes and shave points off your handicap. At the end of the day, I still had a wonderful time, and I hope you enjoyed the ride as well. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the course.